Welcome back to the Dynamic Billiard Dutch Open to Linde in the Netherlands. We're at the Golden Tulip Hotel here. 11 tables, they feature all the action of the current Eurotour event. And we did have some interesting results uh, being played today. In the losers round that started early this morning, Radoslav Babica from Poland, 192 over Alex Montpellier from France. Um, Alex Montpellier had to forfeit his first round match because he was one of the players that got mixed up with the time schedule, remember? Due to the limited number of tables that we are playing on here, this tournament is lasting one day longer. So that was a bit unfortunate for Alex Montpellier. Ivo Arts from the Netherlands won his match 9-5 over fellow countryman Josef Voltas. Mark Gray from Great Britain made short work of Dave Zeel from Belgium. He went to table number one, the feature table this morning in the losers round. Remember Mark Gray was unlucky enough to meet Carl Boyce and that's why he's now on the losers side. And um, when Dave Zeel started he was pretty lucky. Uh, three, four lucky shots and, and took a 1-0 lead and the people started smiling in the audience. However, that was it for him. Mark Gray cleared the next nine racks and won the match with 9-1 to proceed on the loser's side. Uh, also on the loser's side is Ruslan Hinehoff. He unexpectedly lost to Christian Sparle Fischer from Sweden yesterday with 7-9. Today he met uh, Laurence Kanzier from Belgium. The result was 9-4 in favor of the Russian lad. Niels Feyen, who yesterday lost to the Tornado Tony Drago. Today he won 9-1 over Aziz Musati from Morocco. And Feyen, who is currently ranked number 2 of the Eurotour total rankings, that is a surprise that this player, the current world 9-ball champion, is on the loser side. Another surprise then happened to the current number 1 of the Eurotour rankings, Nick Vandenberg. Player of the year leading the Eurotour rankings for about a year now, I guess, or even longer. And he played young gun Wojtek Cevcik. And um, the score was 7-7 after 14 wrecks. And then Cevcik had to execute a jump shot, which he fluked in. He didn't really hit it in the right pocket. The object ball fluked in and he ran the wreck from then. Taken an 8-7 lead, he was on the hill. And then at 8-7 uh, it was Nick Vandenberg's break. And I talked to Cevcik after the match and he said, well, he was really unlucky with his break. I had the roll of the balls. He didn't really get the roll of the balls. Uh, his only good break was the when he broke for eight at 8-7. And um, guess what? He, the one, he pocketed the one ball on the break. Everything looked good. Everything was open and he missed the two balls. So that gave the table back to um, Wojtek Cevcik, who then ran the rack and won the match with 9-7. To proceed to the next loser, winner's round, while Nick van der Berg, currently ranked number one, also joins Feyen on the loser's side of the tournament. Oliver Scholnocki, young player from Hungary, he uh, took care of another upset. He won 9-7 over experienced Juan Carlos Exposito from Spain. Ralf Zuke, I must say business as usual. He won 9-1 over Niels Dössing from Denmark. And another winner's round two match, Imran Majid from Great Britain had big trouble with Frederik Madsen from Denmark. He won 9-8 by a whisker over the young lad from Scandinavia. Also on the, in the second winner's round we have the winner of the last two consecutive Eurotour tournaments, remember? In Slovenia and in, um, in, in Austria. Dennis Grabe took the victory from Estonia and he's on his way here too. He took a clear 9-2 victory over Ariane Matrizi from Albania in the second winner round and it's going to be very interesting to see if he can three-peat it this time. Daniele Corrieri from Italy, the young player or the, the new player, the rising star from the last year and early this year. However, he seems to have lost gear a little bit. He lost 7-9 to Valery Koloyans from Germany and um, has to find, has to try and make his way through the loser's side as well. Mats Schentner from Norway took care of Konstantin Stepanov from Russia. 9-5 was the final result in favor of the Norwegian player. Schentner also belongs to the younger players and um, it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, I, I think we have a clash of generations coming up. Um, maybe we have to keep an eye on that 
for this tournament and also the next upcoming tournaments. Having said that, I must uh, reverse it. Markus Schamat from Sweden, one of the very experienced and older players, my diving buddy from the last tournament, he took care of Mark Beisterbosch, a young gun from the Netherlands with 9-4 and proceeds on the winner's side. However, his um, fellow countryman Christian Sparle Fischer, the one who sent Chinahoff to the loser side, he also won 9-4 over Cyril Ledoux from the Netherlands. Then in the second winner's round we have uh, former world champion Daryl Peach from Great Britain. He took care of Ralf Marenka from Germany winning his match 9-4. Then we have our special guest, Alex Pagulayan from Canada, and he had to deal with Mieszko Fortunski from Poland, and the match took an incredible run, uh, of course. Fortunski was up 7-1. It seemed that Pagulayan couldn't get a foot on the floor, and then guess what? Pagulayan started a marvelous comeback, and suddenly, after 16 racks, the match was hill-hill. 8-8, with the better end for the Polish player, he won 9-8 in the end sending Pegolayan to the loser side, but I somehow have a feeling that we will see Pegolayan again in the round of the last 32 players, but let's see if he can make it. Um, Tony Drago, the Tornado, took care of Mark Lutz from Luxembourg and the um, more mature viewers or spectators of this news know that Mark Lutz, he used to play German Bundesliga for Leverkusen Back in the late 80s already, he played with uh, Dieter Johns and he used to play with Christian Reimering. So he's not new to the pool scene, it's new that he's coming back now and he's obviously playing for Luxembourg. So these are the results, the interesting results of today. Currently we have some more losers rounds going on and then we will enter into tomorrow's play. Um, Friday morning, 9 o'clock, we will continue with the tournament. Stay with us, stay sharp. I see you then.